Today on our 2015 Toyota RAV4, we've got the Kurt 20 by 60 cargo carrier here. This has been designed for use in two inch hitches and it's gonna offer a 500 pound weight capacity. Part number on it is C18150. Now this is gonna offer the expanded steel style floor so we're gonna have lots of areas for that dirt and debris to fall down and out. We've also got a nice raised edge that you can see all the way around. It's about five and a half inches off our platform height. It gives us good front to back and side to side load stability. Also to help out with that, a lot of nice connection points all the way around here to accommodate our straps or bungees or whatever we want to use there. Now we've got about 13 and 3 quarters of an inch worth of ground clearance in the rear. A lot of that's due to the raised shank that we've got here. It's a really nice addition to help elevate that platform so even on steeper grades and stuff like that, shouldn't have too much to worry about. Overall, the carrier is going to add about 28 and 3 quarters of an inch to the rear of the vehicle. And at its closest point down here, we're looking at it being about 6 and 3 quarters of an inch away. Now, you see we got a little movement, we got a little play on the carrier. That's common when they're secured with a pen and clip. We've all seen it before. If you'd like to get rid of that, we've got anti rattle devices available that'll kind of secure that up and give you a more stable platform. The exhaust on the RAV4, passenger side exit here, it's turned downward below the carrier. Really not going to have any issues with heat sensitive materials with this one. Opening our rear hatch up, let's see here, yeah you see how it's going to break over the plane of the carrier there? That happens at, it's about 14 and a half inches, so just keep that in mind. If you're going to be opening your hatch when items are stacked up higher than that, we may run into a little bit of interference there. Now that we've had a good look at the Kurt Cargo Carrier, we've seen how it's going to fit our 2015 RAV4. Let's take a look and see how it performed when they had it out on our test course. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. <laughs> 